gamers? Jason here, and today on Dice and Dragons, I've got some more unboxing to do with Batman Gotham City Chronicles. Now, our first video just unboxed the base game, the Heroes and Villains. We've got all of the expansion content here. What you don't see are the Narrows Chronicles, An Arranged Marriage, the Villains expansion. So we've got Arkham Asylum, which we'll start with just swapping it up from last time. Villains first. Wayne Manor, the Batmobile, the Versus expansion. We're going through all of it. We're finishing up our unboxing of all of this great Gotham City content. Now, what can you expect to see? Well, down below there'll be timestamps for each of the unboxing that we're going to be doing, starting with Arkham, then Wayne Manor, then the last three expansions we're doing all at once. So keep right here for some good stuff. I'm going to jump out of here and, well, not jump, I'm going to swing out of here and get on over to our setup to unbox Arkham Asylum. Now we're going to unbox Batman Gotham City Chronicles Arkham Asylum. Now, I know it's hard to tell which expansion it is, but you can see right there. So let's take a look at what we've got in the box. Now we've got two books for Arkham Asylum. As you see, we've got, this looks to be the mission book. So we've got all of the different missions. And this book, although it looks identical, is the missions, but in French. So you do get English and French versions of the missions in the core box. Now we'll just put that over here and let's see what we've got inside. So it's looking like we've got a nice chunk of miniatures right here. So I'm gonna move this off and we'll come back and take a look at these Arkham Asylum minis. I wanna see what we have underneath first. So let's remove the foam. I'll probably be putting it back. So we have another player board, well, not a player board, sorry, another map. So we've got the map for Arkham Asylum and it is double-sided. Let's get an idea of what's on the other side. Oof, looking like we got a little bit of uh, Joker's crazy fun house there. Can't really showcase the whole thing uh, with the close-up. And let's see what we've got for these pieces. They're not wanting to come out. I'll just lift the box and flip. So we've got definitely some extra boards as it looks like and they're already popping so you know what I'm just gonna punch these right now I'll get these out of the way a little messy wasn't expecting that but it's all good throw these so that stuff off camera so we've got another four extensions to the player board as you can see it should extend those areas nicely four of them and then of course what we have here, I'm just flipping the box again to get everything out. It's really kind of tight to get everything. We've got the Gotham City Chronicles enemies. So as you can see, we have no allies here, just some new bystanders and civilians. So what I'm gonna do is put that back in the box. We're gonna just take these, lay them out nice and flat. It did look like this. We'll place the foam back to help protect the board. So we get the board in there, everything should fit well. There we go. So we've got the board. If you heard a little bump there, it's because I tapped the mic. My apologies. And lastly, we want to take a look at the minis. And this is a big minis box. It's well put together, but not the easiest to get in the showcase. So we've got the Joker, Clayface version of the Joker there. So pretty tough, Tweedledee, Tweedledum, Hugo Strange, Jervis Tech, Professor Pig, Zaz. So we, we got all the crazies and of course, Joker's gang. So we'll see we have a nice set of minis there. We're gonna take all of them out. We've got plenty of other stuff to unbox. I really do like this Joker Clayface miniature. Tweedledee and Tweedledum look great. Loving the detail on Hugo Strange. Once again, we just like that these villains are different colors. And we do get some more cards. And I will slide them out to see what is uh, the new equipment we get for the Dark Knight. So make it, fireworks, boxing glove gun, shark repellent. Absolutely love that. 
Wolf Trap. So stuff that makes sense for a crazy Joker fun park. And we're gonna seal that back up. Here, I'll put this back in like this. Still awkward to get everything back in the box. We're gonna take the two mission booklets, put that back. We'll get the lid back on this puppy. Mm -hmm. And there you go. That's the unboxing of Arkham Asylum. So we're gonna get on. We're gonna keep going through the expansion content. So keep it right here as we come back with another expansion. So this time we started off with the more villainous expansion. Let's take a look at the more heroic one as we unbox Wayne Manor. Once again, it's not labeled, but uh, the image gives you a great idea as to what we're taking a look at. Now, we do get some new heroes in this one. We once again have the phone to protect it. So let's take a look at the heroes that we have. We're just going to... It's tape, not so bad, but it does make it a little difficult to get undone. So who do we have? We've got Alfred, Batman's Thrasher suit, that's pretty cool. Of course we got straight up Bruce Wayne, Julia Pennyworth, guessing that's Alfred's niece. I have never seen her, she almost looks like a S.H.I.E.L.D. agent. Oracle, Red Robin, absolutely love it. Batwing, awesome. And there you have it, so just a few new heroes. We've got the two mission books, so I'm guessing this is like Arkham Asylum, and one's in English and one is in French. So these ones do explain some new rules for the manor. And then we've got all of the missions. Loads and loads of content in this game. I honestly don't know how I'm gonna get through everything that uh, is included in this. We also have some minis. We'll come back to that just like we did with the Arkham box. Put that off to the side. So we have some more boards. Once again, I know we're not going to get to see the whole thing, but oh, we've got two boards this time. This clearly looks like the inside of Wayne Manor. And looking at it, we've got, I'm going to try to open it up just a little more. One looks to be more of the outside. No, you guys can't quite see it. There's a nightclub. So maybe not Wayne Manor, actually. Looks like we got some back alleys here, making sure you can see the nightclub aspect. And then as you can see, we'll just flip that back in a little awkwardly, but there you go. This looks to be like the inside of Wayne Manor. Let's flip that up. Under here, we've got a couple of different boards. And this definitely looks to be like a bat cave. Not quite sure how it all fits together, but pretty cool. And there are four different boards that make up the bat cave. So we get this out of here, place this back here. Now we'll just shake out the box. Everything is in here very, very tightly. So what do we got here? Not sure we got a giant Batarang. Some new enemies, Ra's al Ghul, two versions of the Riddler, T-Rex, Bats, and the Bat Robots. We don't actually have the, all the hero punch outs actually. I know it's the only one board in here. Let's take a quick look at the components. I'm wondering if I'm actually missing anything. That'd be good to know. So first and foremost, let's get these Batcave things back in the box. We get the protectors for the game board. Which was sitting, that was sitting like that in the box. Well, let's take a quick look at the minis. There may be something in here. Otherwise, I'm going to take a look at my core game to see if I've gotten all the rules. Or we'll look at the uh, booklet before that and let's see the miniatures. We've got some really cool minis right here. I'm absolutely loving the T-Rex. And let's see, is this no, it comes out quite nicely. I want to showcase this bad boy. Wow, that is... Probably the biggest mini I have. And definitely looks like the uh, T-Rex from uh, Jurassic Park. The base 
is fragile, so keep that in mind. We get some nice new gadgets for our team, Telescope of Catan, Guided Batarang, Bolus, Hunting Rifle, Blunderbuss, so looks like we got a whole bunch of stuff that's sitting around Wayne Manor, and then also a rocket launcher, and a few other items. Yeah, so these are items. We got items and equipment, very cool. Let's take a look at the detail on some of the minis. Red Robin is, he's one of my favorite characters. Absolutely love the suit. Love the detail on the miniature, quite impressed. I think some of these actually look better than the other ones. Love the bat suit. It's awesome. And of course, let's look at the man himself, Batman. Not all swanky, dressed up as Bruce Wayne. Pretty cool. Definitely enjoying all the minis. There's the bat robots. Now let's take a look. I believe this is the, uh, ah, did not place. So it did not place the board quite right, huh? I believe it was then, like this, with the foam, like that. That's how we're gonna get everything back. Like I said, it's still a little challenging. So Wayne Manor, There's rules, but there is not a list of components. Interesting. Well, we'll put this stuff all back. You know what? I gotta open this up. No, it doesn't look that great for film, but I forgot to put the protection back for the minis. And as this one has the dinosaur, which does look a little fragile, I am gonna wanna keep this on there. Does fit back on very nicely. <laughs> like I said, everything about the packaging is very tight. It does not make for great unboxing, but doing the best that I can. So we got the Wayne Manor stuff. Let's go ahead and place the character cards back where they were. And the nice little protection foam. Put the box back on and there you have it. You've taken a look at what we get in Wayne Manor. And I did notice that there is a list of components. So we got the number of miniatures, hero sheets, cards, booklet, boards, number of tiles. So it is only three villain tiles, but we are getting a total of seven hero sheets. Meaning I believe we're gonna use the, the stuff from other heroes. That's just the only way I can see how that actually works. Have to take a closer look at the rules, but it doesn't look like we're missing anything. So we've taken a look at Arkham Asylum. We've now looked at Wayne Manor. We're gonna come back with the small box expansions next. Now we're gonna finish up our unboxing of Batman Gotham City Chronicles, the all-in pledge. We've taken a look at the other two expansion box in this video. You also got to see the heroes and villains box in another video. All that's left is the Narrows Chronicles and Range Marriage, the Batmobile, and just because it doesn't quite fit perfectly right now, the Versus expansion. So let's start with the Batmobile as it's a nice small box, and that'll let us get it out of the way. As with all these boxes, not the easiest to open. So let's take a look at what we got here. And we'll just flip this the right way. So we have a rule book as to how to use the Batmobile. Not that many pages. We also have it once again in French. We get a nice vacuum formed plastic case for the Batmobile and then we have the tokens for the Batmobile. Now, this is easy enough to just punch out. I will right now. Easier than putting this, uh, putting this stuff back in, we'll get rid of it. And the other thing I wanna showcase quickly on camera, just looking at it, looks like you've got different things that can fit in to their proper slots, which I'm not sure which is which yet, which are your weapons, equipment, and other items for the Batmobile. Now, I'm sure everyone wants to see 
what the Batmobile looks like. It is very good packaging. Difficult to get it. Uh, yeah, it doesn't come out easy. And that's because it is taped, which I do like at times. Other times, not so much. Uh, all right, give me a second. All right, that was a little more difficult than a bit of light. And I'm flicking the top off here, just making a mess out of this whole thing. And then we have the Batmobile. The wheels even turn just a little bit, but not much. Gonna have to figure out a better storage solution for the Batmobile. I like the fact that we've got some great protection for it, but storing this thing, especially now after I've mangled up the packaging just a little bit, is still, I would say, awkward. You're losing not much space for a miniature. I have to say, there's one major complaint that I have with this game so far, is that it takes up a lot more room than it should. Let's move that out of the way. Let's take a look at the Narrows Chronicle here. As you can see, I haven't opened up any of this stuff. This is me unboxing it all for the first time. We'll get rid of the packaging. I don't think anything is gonna go back in here. I'm gonna most likely mix this into another box. Let's see what we get. All right, so nothing left in, you guys can see. We get, bang, ah. So this is the villains campaign. As you can see, we have the villains as heroes. So we've got Bane, Harley Quinn, the Penguin, Two-Face, the Joker, the Riddler, and Scarecrow. Absolutely fantastic. We have some new items and equipment for them. From Bane's Venom, I get the plastic out of here. We have Venom, the Riddle of Cain, Arliss Headstead, Sticks, Umbrella, Mount, Multifunction, so I said Malfunction for a second there, Dirk, the Smasher, Boots, the Judge, the Juror, awesome. Absolutely love it. So let's take a look at the Narrows Chronicles book. Once again, we got two of them, English and French. So as you can see, we've got the missions, prologues. And you can tell you this time it's detailing it with the Gotham PD as running on the villain's track. Now we didn't get a warning piece for it. I'm sure that's because uh, you need the warning tile. You saw that in blue quickly when you're looking at that. I don't know where we have that, but it was not included in this Narrows expansion. So I'm gonna take this stuff, we're gonna move it off, and we're gonna come back on here with the Versus box in just a second. So here we go, the nice, long Versus box. And we've got another, packaged player board. So we've got the other villains river, or this can also control a Gotham PD. I'm assuming that we're probably gonna find the, uh, the component I was just looking for in here. I'm just gonna put this off to the side even though it doesn't quite fit. We'll take a look at the rule books. So here we've got the versus mode rule book. So different rules, explanations, all in here, another set of description of powers. And once again, we've got it in English and in French. So perfect for where I live, considering I'm in Quebec. We've got some more Gotham miniatures and these ones are taped like the Batmobile. Usually I don't mind that, but it's fairly frustrating when doing an unboxing and everything is taped up. Like I said though, all of this stuff is gonna be getting uh, repackaged into smaller boxes, which will be challenging, but like what we see, like the Shield Gotham PD officers look fantastic. Drones, pretty cool. Not as much of a fan of 
for these guys. Not sure uh, what the rule is specifically. We'll just put this back here for now. But at least it lets us get easy. Well, I'll move it off here. Gets easy access to the rest of the stuff. And there we have it. Here are all of the hero tiles. Now we'd be needing to use the hero characters on the versus board. We've got the warning tile, which you would need for the villain campaign. So all in all, pretty cool stuff. I'm not quite sure what we've got in here in this nice Batman box. We'll open it up. And we just have some more tokens. Looks like this was just primarily in there to take up some space. I'm going to put it back in there for now. But it does look like a great way to store some of these components quite neatly. Also make some room for maybe something like the Batmobile in here. And there you have it, guys. We are all done once I get this put back in. We have unboxed all the content. Took two videos. The last little part was a little messy, but we've seen everything from... Batman Gotham City Chronicles. So I'm going to get this lid on and then we're going to come back with a quick outro for our video. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed our video today on Dyson Dragons. Please look down below in the video description to find all the links to our social media feeds. You can find Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, keep up with everything that's going on here at the channel. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so that you know when we've got some more content coming. And don't worry, we're going to be back on Thursday with a regular review video. Not quite sure what I'm going to be doing. Well, what we will be doing, Julie and I. And you can also find links to some other great Batman content that we have on the channel, such as the original unboxing for Gotham City Chronicles and Batman the Animated Series, Gotham City, Under Siege. And don't forget everyone, keep playing games.